Hello and welcome to Smart Tesla News. This is Patrick, you're watching Tesla Trip. I just got back from Las Vegas and man, the past two weeks have been full of exciting news. I was driving from Wyoming to Las Vegas and we came across this wonderful thing. Utah's and Rocky Mountain Power have put together a whole entire route of Chadmo and CCS charging stations at the Mavericks all along the interstate. They're, they're putting them around every 75 miles or so. We found it by accident. Um, my son had to use the bathroom in between superchargers, and we pulled in, and there was, there was a station there. They're around 40 kilowatt stations. They cost about $10 to charge. We got about 20 miles or so in 10 minutes. Uh, you know, about third the speed of a supercharger, but twice as fast as a high-powered wall charger, maybe three times as fast as a high-powered wall charger-ish, somewhere in between there. And they're cool. I, I give you, you know, if we had to stop anyways, add some extra range, nowhere near as convenient as a supercharger because it's slower and there's only one there. So if somebody else was there, we'd be out of luck until they leave, but very welcome. And on the way back home, we stopped at a hotel near one, and then in the morning, I went and plugged it in while we had breakfast and got a full charge, which it worked out. I mean, you can still get a full charge in like two hours or so. Model S news. Tesla is now using Model S's for the Ranger service, or they're changing the name to like Tesla local, local service. But they've outfitted the backs of these Tesla Model S's with toolboxes, they took out the back seats, and I mean, it only makes sense that, I mean, you get to practice what you preach. <laughs> you got to fix the electric vehicles with electric vehicles, right? You can't pull up in a big gas truck or van or something like that. They still do, although they said they're also doing this with Model Xs, and they're going to be converting vans to electric. So they're going to be putting them on Model X chassis or something like that. I've mentioned before, can't wait to see them. If you guys have any pictures of these Model Xs or the vans that are electrified, I'd love to see them. I'm at Walking Crow on Twitter, or you can email me, pox at twosmartguys.com. Model 3 news. Down in Las Vegas, I was at the Tesla Service Center down there, the new one on Sahara, and man, it was beautiful. <laughs> it, was, it was way bigger. It was wide open. You could see, you could go right in there, and you can see them working on all, all the vehicles, so it's not like hidden behind the scenes. You can see what they're doing. The whole area is white, kind of showing off the fact that there's no real oil or anything messy in there. Kind of like the Tesla factory. It, it's very clean. Over 20 Model 3s were out for delivery out there, and they had a display that you could take a look at. And the line on the weekend was like 20 to 40 people. It's kind of shifting throughout the day. I got to check it out thoroughly. And it, having a Model S, it is much closer to a Model S than a Model X, obviously. It's somewhere in size between like my Chevy Volt and a Model S. So it's bigger than the Volt, smaller than the S. Model 3 was awesome. Let me know what you guys think. I still don't have mine yet. It's been five weeks, uh, going on six. I said four weeks. So hopefully I'll get a call. I don't have a VIN yet. I'll, I'll show it off when we get it for sure in the show. So now here's the Model Y news. There's actually some news to report. Tesla has job postings for the Model Y now for a mechanical design engineer. If you're a mechanical design engineer, you can apply for a job at Tesla working on the new Model Y, which hopefully will be coming out soon because there's already other manufacturers posting little billboards saying, it's your turn, Elon. Make your little compact SUV because we've, we've got one. I sent a tweet to Ford asking him, hey, where's your long range electric vehicles? Everybody else is coming out with them. And they replied, oh, in 2020, we've got a and a premium SUV thing coming out with 300 plus mile range in 2020. You know, a little late, but hey, they're welcome. More electric vehicles, the better, more options, more choice. I think uh, Tesla will be really far ahead by then, but you know, better late than never. GM just put out a statement saying they think the, the electric is the future and that they have a path to an all electric future which is crazy. GM's like one of the biggest, if not the biggest, auto manufacturers here in the United States, and they just said that they're going to make all their vehicles electric someday. So they're not saying like tomorrow or next year or even in 2020, but they're saying eventually, which is 
which is pretty cool that they have a path to an electric future. Tesla's path to an electric future is between Fremont, California and Sparks, Nevada, and they're testing out the Tesla Semi to go back and forth and deliver batteries right now. So you, they're being spotted on the road delivering batteries, which is really cool that their first customers themselves, they're making use of their semis. And uh, Elon's even saying that the production semis will beat the specs that the competitors are already saying that are unbelievable and defy the laws of physics. So they're talking about you know, a 500 mile range on these semis, fully loaded, 80,000 pound payload. Those are some pretty big specs. And it's interesting, some of these videos they're posting, uh, people seeing them take off with a trailer. Shoom, it looks like, you know, they're not hauling anything. They're, they can accelerate really fast with that instant torque and the, the high power electric motors. What do you think? Do you think this, the semis are really going to take off? They're, they were seen at a supercharger. Uh, topping off or testing them out or something and those mega chargers look like they're four Tesla charging ports. So they're like probably taking up the whole Tesla supercharger <laughs> Obviously there, there there are already reports of working with like Walmart to install mega chargers for them and charging stations at the distribution centers so that You know, they won't they won't be taking up superchargers. They'll have their own charging stations in different areas for the semis but apparently, they, the, at least the prototypes can charge on the supercharger network. Uh, over at the Gigafactory over in Sparks, Nevada, they're now installing the world's largest solar rooftop array, which is pretty doggone cool. And Tesla has launched a new workplace charging program. So uh, any business that wants to give free charging to their employees can get free high-powered wall chargers to put in, which is very cool of Tesla. They're not for fleets, so if the company's trying to use the chargers, that's not what they're for. They're not buying those for you. They're, they're only buying the ones to encourage employees to drive electric vehicles, Teslas. In autopilot news, uh, there's videos of the current software doing better around like really dangerous curves. Elon has tweeted out that they're beta testing the new neural network and advanced features that should be coming out really soon. Uh, at least the neural net to, to end users with the more advanced features being sprinkled out the years they validate them through testing. And at South by Southwest, Elon and his brother were on stage and singing Three Amigos songs, My Little Buttercup, and giving some hints on when the full self-driving timeline would be. Elon said he's thinking the end of 2019, so it's next year, that they have um, 100 to 200% safer driving than a human under most driving conditions. So that's basically level four is what he's talking about. So that means hopefully we're going to get some level three type stuff this year, level four next year, and then beyond that's probably level five. My guess is going to be different hardware. Elon was saying, you know, that we could do level five with the current hardware, maybe an upgraded computer component. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> the regulatory is requiring more redundancy for level five, and that's just not in the current Teslas. So it'll probably be, you know, somebody behind the wheel to monitor it. Um, but you're probably not going to be able to sleep in them, as my guess, which was what I was really hoping for when purchasing it. But hey, you know, if it does like 99% of the driving for you, that's cool. That's better than what we got now. Supercharging, unfortunately, had a little bit of bad news earlier this week. They increased the rates, so it costs more to charge. They're 20 to 40 percent. Washington's one of the worst that got hit with the, the 40 percent. So the rates of supercharging have gone up a little bit, but they're still cheaper than gas. And if you buy a new Model S or X, they're even cheaper if you use a referral code like mine, which is Patrick4254. You can get free supercharging for life. Please subscribe if you like this show. Thank you for watching so much. And if you want to support my little Wild West EV project that I've got, I've got a GoFundMe page now in the link below. GoFundMe.com slash Wild West EV. I had groups ask me if they could donate to the cause because we're putting chargers in the most remote locations where they're needed. So for as little as $10, you can help bring electric vehicle charging out into the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and for, for uh, $100, you can even sponsor a station. So... Well, you'll have your name on the sign saying that you helped bring this charging station to this location and will be there forever. So the guy charging can be like, hey, 
you know, that Joe um, Schmo or whoever is a fantastic guy, and he helped me charge my car. Otherwise, I'd be stuck, you know, at a Motel 6 or something for three days on a regular outlet. So, <laughs> yeah, sponsor an EV station, wildwestev.com. Uh, GoFundMe.com slash WildWestDV is where you can donate just 10 bucks to help the cause. We're trying to put at least 16 stations in this year. Yeah, Tesla does, has superchargers in the corners of Wyoming on the interstate, and we're trying to get stuff in the, the center of Wyoming and other, other remote locations. You can suggest uh, wherever you want, and we can put one there. We have an option to like sponsor a whole charger. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.